So the first lecture of section 7 will be multi y axis. So make sure you have this file. It's called major electricity as we've used previously. I'll once again attach it as a resource to this lecture so it becomes easy for you to download again if you are starting off from this side. If you go to plot and you come to the multi panel or multi axis, you can see some of these. So the first one we want to do are the multi y axis ones. So the first one is a double y column. If you put it on it, um, let's just start. So I've selected a portion of my x axis and then a portion of uh, and then hydro and then also biomass if you come to plot and then you come to multi panel axis come to double y then you can see you put the two together the green is for biomass and the orange is for hydro and you can edit it as we've done previously you can do all those features you can edit each one separately if you want or you can edit the each different column differently the next thing will be so you can go to plot you can go to plot and multi panel and double y axis so you can plot two selected worksheet y columns so let, when i plot it you understand you have x and then you have two y's so usually you have x and y or if you plot x and on a line you have the same axis but this time you see so you come to plot and multi panel and double y so you have the black which is hydro and you have from 100 to 400 so that is the scale however for biomass you have from 0 to 70 so that is a scale so now you have two more you have a multi or a double axis in here and you can and it shows us two different layers so you have to edit them differently and you can imagine what you can do with this you can color them or change anything in there and the next will be plot and so you can do same for three four four and and all that so it's just the same as we've done with the double let's go back let's say we choose one two three and we come to plot multi let's choose 3y axis so you can zoom in now you have b as black so that is your black axis and then you have c as and you can drag it anywhere that you want let's say for some reason you want to keep it all in one direction or one section then you have different things to to talk about so this this can also be a way of representing your data or visualizing your data and you can actually choose it for let me just go in there again plot multi panel so you can go for five or more you, then you have to come to multiple and you can put an auto preview and choose whatever that you want if you want many let's say you're plotting 10 i don't know why someone will want it but you have that option so something to note let's go to plot again and multi panel i think i left this one out so this one you, sh you have to have two columns two y columns and it's also something useful plot and then multi panel and come to two y's so this is too crowded so maybe i should select a, a portion and it will be more clearer so let's just select a little portion because it's too crowded sometimes it becomes difficult to see and go to this one okay 
so what this does is one of it is a column so the first y origin plots it as a column for you and the other y origin plots it as a line so you can edit the line separately because that's a different layer and you can also edit the columns differently and it gives you a scale bar for or the axis sorry it gives you the axis for the column and then it also gives you an axis for the line so that is something useful that you should note and that will be it for multi-axis or multi-y-axis see you in the next lecture